Hi, this is Mr. Lovell Ford, and um, I'm going to show you today a simple, simple example of how to use a Google Sheet as a calculator. And you're probably going, well, we've been using Google Sheets, and we've never seen a calculator on a Google Sheet. But believe it or not, there is actually an installed calculator in Google Sheets. And the only thing you have to do to use that calculator is go to a cell, just like I'm doing right here, as soon as I get my mouse to quit. There we go. Go to a cell, such as the one I have right here. And you notice in this example, I've got peaches at 229 per can. Okay, and I'm buying four of those. And I want to find out, well, how much is four cans going to cost me? And you already know that you're going to multiply 229 times four. And you would normally do this with a calculator. At least I would. So all I'm going to do to start the calculator in a Google Sheet is type in equals right there in the, in the cell. And then I'm simply going to do what I would normally do on a calculator. I'm going to type in 2.29 times 4. And then all you have to do is hit enter. And it gives you the dollar amount. That would cost you 916. Okay. Here I have cottage cheese at 289 per container. And there's two of them. So again, to start the Google Sheet, calculator I simply type in equals into the cell and I perform the operation so I go 2.89 times 4 and it gives me 1156 ragu I like ragu okay buck 79 per jar and there's two of those so I go equals 1.79 times or two, excuse me, hit it, enter. And finally, you need noodles to go with the spaghetti sauce. So I'm buying four boxes of those at a buck ninety-nine per box. So I go equals one point nine nine times four, and it gives me seven dollars and ninety-six cents. Now Subtotal. So I'm going to add all these up. Now you would do that on a calculator, right? So let's do it on this calculator. So we're going to go equals. We're going to go 9.16 plus 11.56 plus 3.58 plus 7.96. Now what's cool about this, you notice that it gives you it tells you everything you've done there and when you hit enter it gives you that subtotal amount okay now we need to figure out the tax well our tax rate is 8.8 percent .8 here in the city of Enumclaw and I need to change that to a decimal so what I would do the tax rate then is if I move it two places to the left two places to the left that becomes zero or point zero eight eight so i'm going to go equals point zero eight eight and i'm timesing that by the subtotal thirty two point twenty six so that food is going to cost two dollars and eighty four cents in tax now, I want to add those two amounts together. So again, I take the calculator and I go equals. So I'm going to go 32.26 plus 2.84 and get a total, 35.10. So there you go. You've completed using uh, you got your list of groceries, computed your subtotal, computed the tax, and got a total. Now, what's cool about this, if you click on any one of these and you look up here, it shows you how you got that $9.16. You multiply 229 times 4. 
it shows you that you took 289 times, oh, I made a mistake, didn't I? That should have been times two. So guess what? You can come up here and actually change that to times two, and it'll give you now 576, 578. We go over here and we see that was a buck 79 times two. We go here and that was 796, which was $1.99 times four. And we got this subtotal. Now the problem is that we got a wrong number, didn't we? Instead of 578, we had 1156. So if I go in here now, up here at the formula bar, and change that to 578. Let's do that. We can do that. We can go back and go 5.78. And we can recalculate that. So we get 2648. Now, we need to go in here and change this because this amount is now wrong. So we're going to go in here and change this to 2648. Let's try that again. Twenty six point forty eight. Now we need to go back and change this because we're we had two different amounts that we added incorrectly. So we're going to go back here and change this to twenty six point forty eight plus. 2.33. There we go, 2881. So this way you can not only see what it cost or what math went into getting those numbers, but you can double check yourself to make sure that you inputted the numbers correctly. How often do we all, and I include myself in this, input something incorrectly and we don't know if we did it right or not? This way you have a chance to double check and make sure that your entries were correct.